Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It is Leo season, and in order to celebrate, I decided to travel locally to the Getty Villa for my birth month. I've been to the Getty Villa about four times now, but my wanted to take me as a way to get a fresh perspective here in the City of Angels. We took the scenic route on the way to the villa, and since it was early in the morning, parking was extremely easy, and there were no lines. Olive trees lined the estate with lots of fruit. Before I take you on this beautiful tour, don't forget to click that subscribe button, turn on notifications by clicking that bell, and follow my social media at Mara Domina. This amphitheater is amazing and I would love to hear what it sounds like should they have new concerts or plays once again in the future. As I mentioned, it is Leo season and so I took photos and video of a lot of lions. Comment below on how many lions you saw in this video. So just past the foyer, we had Assyria and Mesopotamia as the current exhibitions. Check out the ceramic pottery that has a lot of lewd depictions of what actually happened during that time period. What a beautiful sarcophagus to be buried in. Out into the main area, we have this courtyard that is lined with statues and a nice fountain. And of course, a little garden with a wonderful mosaic and a multitude of colors. They really keep their gardens well trimmed and manicured. All the plants are extremely healthy. After perusing some art, the villa opens to the main garden area. There's an Easter egg of a broken yoke on one of these hand-painted walls that I remember from a tour many years ago. What a lush view to take in. There were grapes growing on vines. And I got to flow a little bit with my fans. Be sure to check out the full dance on youtube.com slash goddessmara. It is just such a dreamy location. And of course I had to open the heavy metal doors that leads out to the balcony overlooking this amazing scenario. I can imagine having a garden party full of my friends and reveling into the evening with wine and extravagant feasts and of course playtime afterwards. The ocean is actually visible from here and you can see it peeping between the trees. On the second floor, I was able to admire some jewelry, more glassware, old ruins, and paintings of royalty or goddesses and gods. Here's a bunch of lions. Each one of these heads counts. What number are you up to now? I've lost count. Mm -hmm. 
It's crazy to think all of this has been so preserved over the years. This is all BC. History is truly incredible. These tiny gold pieces were to be attached individually to a lady's dress. Documentation was sculpted and written in stone. Look at how tiny this art on these rings are, and the cuneiform on these tablets. I don't know how people saw that well back then. Hey look, an early form of a griffin. This also counts as a lion. And I ended up being able to take a quick photo with Venus herself, even though that hall was extremely busy. After exiting the museum, I of course had to visit my favorite corner with lily pads and a staircase. The theater entrance was open, so I was able to see Medusa herself and do a little serpentine slither to tribute to her gorgonness. Overall, this is a short and sweet little video. We exited the Getty Villa. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it so that others can tour the Getty Villa with me, subscribe and turn on notifications so that you know when I have new content out. And until next time, be safe and have fun.